Wow, one of the great new features of Windows 7 is some of the recovery and the repair tools that you have to work with. So I'm going to log on and I want to uh, demonstrate some of the great tools that you have. Now some of these tools are actually on the Windows 7 installation DVD. So some of these great tools are right there on the Windows 7 installation DVD. What I've done is I've got the Windows 7 installation DVD in my CD-ROM tray. I'm going to reboot this 7 installation. And let's say I have a, uh, I need to do a restore point or uh, um, there, there seems to be a problem with boot issues on this PC. And before I image it, before I grab an image off my server and re-image it, let me do a few things to see if I can recover it and then move on. So let me show you some great new tools on the Windows 7 DVD installation. So we're going to reboot and I'm going to pop in my DVD and I'm going to restart. I'm going to save you the, the agony of watching a reboot and I'm going to cut all this out with the magic of video. And we'll get right back into the booting of the DVD. So I'm going to shut down, reboot. We are booting up off the DVD, and you can see it has a very new looking, uh, different look and feel for booting off the, the Windows 7 DVD. We're actually booting into what's called the uh, WinRE, the, Win, the Windows Repair Environment. It is the same environment that we're going to use to install Windows, but it also gives us a functional OS so that we can repair. Here we are at the screen that would normally be used to install Windows 7 from scratch. We are going to go next. And down here on the um, left hand side is going to be repair your computer. So we're going to click on this and this is what we would use to say if we wanted to do a restore point and many of you know in XP if the machine is not functional you cannot restore use the restore point functionality but with Windows 7 and Vista both, you can actually use the DVD to actually go back and restore if the OS uh, on the hard drive is somewhat functional. You can actually create a restore or a restore a point with the DVD. So let's go into repair. Let's take a look at some of our options for repair. This is very important because if it doesn't see an operating system at this point, you're really going to scrub the machine and re-image. It does see a Windows 7 installation. Uh, here's where you could load a controller driver or a video driver if it blew up on you. You could load the video driver here or say a storage controller driver here if for some reason it didn't like the motherboard uh, hard disk controller. Let's go next. And here is wonderful new options that we have never had before. We have a startup repair. And this is a kind of an automatic fixing utility that will go in and fix probably the top 10 boot issues. It will fix uh, a boot record failure. It will fix a boot, a BCD problem, anything that would interfere with a customary boot issue, your startup repair will solve your problem. Now remember, startup repair can re is automatic. You cannot do anything just but click it and go. The other thing to remember about startup repair is it can reboot three up to three times. So give it a break, let it alone, let it do its thing until it comes up and says, I can't do anything anymore. So be sure to remember that it can reboot your machine and attempt to fix things up to three times. Here's an awesome one, system restore right from the DVD. So if you have a non-booting system, you can actually use the DVD to go ahead and do a restore point. Uh, if you have a backup, you can actually do a total system recovery right from the DVD. So in the old days, we had the ASR uh, gave us a bare metal recovery of our, our hard drive. System image restore, uh, I'm sorry, system image recovery allows if you have a full system image backup, you can fully restore the entire hard drive. So if you've lost your hard drive, 
you put a new one in. If you've got a image of your system, you can restore it through this. Here's your uh, Windows memory diagnostic tool. Very handy if you think it's memory. And then of course the command prompt. What's really nice is this, this replaces recovery console and it doesn't require a password. So if you want to drop into the command prompt, do some things at the command line, no password has prompted you, you're right in and you can do what you need to do. So these are some great tools for the Windows 7 technician.